So how did I make $1.4 million with my commercial cleaning business last year? And this video is for you if you own a cleaning business. So keep watching because I'm gonna share exactly how I got there. So the first step was realizing that I couldn't get rich by playing with small numbers. I needed to play with the big numbers, the big contracts like these in order to do this the right way because I see so many residential cleaning business owners and they have to manage so many different cleaners, so many different clients, so many different schedules to make seven figures. But when it comes to commercial cleaning, these buildings pay five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars every single month. And in order to make seven figures, it's only eighty three thousand per month. And that's a million dollars a year. So when you guys actually do the math, a cleaning business is simply labor hours. You charge the client 40, 45 an hour and you pay someone 23 an hour and you simply collect the remaining of the profits and cleaning supplies, equipment, it's not that much. It's about one or 2% of the contract. So when you guys actually do the math, if you found a contract that was seven days a week, eight hours per visit and you were charging $32 an hour, that would be 11500 every single month. And if you wanted to make a million dollars per year with your cleaning business, that would only be seven of those contracts. So imagine how much better your business would be if you were dealing with clients that are paying 5 10 k a month versus clients who are paying a few hundred bucks per visit here and there. And the first thing is realizing that you need to prioritize your time for the same level of effort. You can just focus in commercial cleaning and you get 10 times better results because these contracts, they're recurring revenue, they're easy to automate because it's the same routine over and over again. You're able to do less driving, you're dealing with less clients, so there's less people problems and it's business to business. So you never really have to chase to get paid. And by having consistent revenue coming every single month, you're able to have a very sustainable business. Or if there's ever a recession or a market crash, all these buildings, they still operate and they still need cleaning. So this is a recession-proof business model because I know during early 2020, a lot of people were scared to bring other people into their own homes. So that's why commercial is a lot more reliable. It's just 10 times better. But if you have no money, if you have no resources at all, I recommend cleaning houses because they pay right away and you get to experience the same experience we all went through. Cleaning residential houses, dealing with people that don't want to pay, having to clean very dirty places. And I know a lot of these numbers may not sound real, but you guys simply have to just do the math, pull out the calculator and use common sense. If you guys never done this before, it obviously doesn't feel real. It's like swimming for the first time. If you've never done it before, you may not believe in yourself, but it does work. And right now I'm making about 120K per month, and that's about 80 to 83 contracts. And it wasn't always this way. When I first started, I was a cleaner for over five years. My first cleaning job was when I was in high school, I was cleaning offices. I would go to school in the morning, and then after at night, I would go clean offices. And I cleaned thousands of houses. I was a cleaning subcontractor as well. So I've been on both sides. I've been a cleaner for so many years. And now I have been a business owner for so many years. And, and my biggest advice for you guys is to just start focusing on closing contracts. Because if you guys never get started, you're losing the opportunity. Because the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is right now. So I encourage you guys to start closing contracts you don't have to buy a franchise to get your own contracts you can get your own contracts yourself but obviously there's a process to this and if you're doing everything alone you're gonna experience a lot of trial and error and you're basically gonna learn with costly experiences and now imagine a world where you got to work one-on-one -on -one with someone who already made seven figures with their own cleaning business i'm sure you do things a lot faster without making any mistakes. And when you guys actually think about it, one contract, 10X is your investment. So what's the wise choice? Doing everything alone 
or working with an expert who can set up your whole business in just a few days, we'll scrape a list, we'll put virtual assistants in your business, and we'll basically show you how you can make your own successful business. And you guys don't need to overcomplicate this. You simply build an establishment so you appear trustworthy because when you guys actually think about it, no one's gonna trust you with their office keys if you just tell them how good you're gonna clean. You need a little establishment. Why pick you? What makes you trustworthy? What makes you seem like a reliable company I can count on? And the next step is getting your business out there. And you either need time or money. If you have time, we'll show you how to do cold calling for email, LinkedIn, so you can start reaching out to these clients and start setting up walkthroughs. We'll even scrape a list of companies so you have thousands of companies to start reaching out to. And if you have money, we can help you hire virtual assistants to do this on your behalf or we can run your Google ads so then every time someone types looking for a commercial cleaning company in my city, your ads pop up, they click on your website, they request a quote, and you set up a walkthrough. You go to the walkthrough, you follow our closing process, and you either close the contract on the spot or you have to follow up with the client. Once you get a confirmation date, you simply go to pick up the entry keys, the alarm code, the lights, check out the janitor room, and then you simply text your subcontractor or cleaners who are ready on standby. You just text them, I have this contract twice a week, three hours per visit at this location, this is how much we're paying. And either they accept it or they don't. You go show them the place and then you simply systemize that. So by doing that, that's a system. You're closing the contract 4,000 a month and you're subbing it out for 2,500 and you're able to collect the profit each month. And now you do that 20 times over and you're basically gonna gain your time back. Because as Warren Buffett said, if you're not making money on your sleep, you're technically working for money and you need to build a system that works for you. Because if you don't take this route, if you don't become an entrepreneur or a business owner, what is the other option? You're going to have to sell your time to a 9 to 5 for the rest of your life. Two weeks off a year and you can work for the next 40 years listening to a boss. And if you don't listen, if you get fired, guess what? You're out of income because you relied off your income from one source, a job. But with this business model, you're able to close a contract, systemize, collect your profits every month, and then you repeat. So, so you have many streams of revenue coming in every single month. So if a client doesn't work out, maybe they cancel, maybe they're not happy, or maybe they went out of business, you're still able to pay your bills because you have so many more clients paying you every month. And I know I said this a thousand times, but there's thousands of buildings in your city right now. They all get dirty. And there's clients out there who are getting a bad cleaning done. So you have a way better service, but the only reason why you don't have that client is because they didn't heard about you. You didn't close that contract, someone else did. And I'm sure you guys heard of Jam Pro. They make $500 million every single year in commercial contracts. And that is just one cleaning company. When you look at the cleaning industry in the US alone, it's over $150 billion as of 2023. So there's an opportunity when you do things right. So be wise enough to do this with the expert because creating a business is basically a system. Imagine building a house by yourself. You're gonna have to find all the vendors, look for supplies, make mistakes, put the wall down, rebuild it, come up with the planning, and basically learning from mistakes versus working with the builder who has all laid out and has a step-by-step -step process so you do this the right way and same goes for your business if you've never done something before the best way to learn something is to work with the expert i'm sure you can learn free content on youtube and that's how i grew my own company and that's how i grew my and that's how i grew my company but i had to learn it the hard way i went to walkthroughs and just because i forgot to mention we use eco-friendly products the client went with someone else and just one cleaning contract 
that's two thousand a month we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars because when you post a client you usually keep them for many years so think of the outcome doing everything yourself or work with the expert and when you work with the expert you basically 10x the outcome in the future and the reason why i preach so much is because i see in both sides i work with cleaning business owners who are stuck at 10 20 000 per month but they were always cleaning they were always stressing over these they were always stressing over their contracts dealing with employees and basically having a business that took off their time and they were always struggling with money so in the cleaning business there's two sides there's a side where you're stressing over some contracts you're always babysitting and you're trying to make a profit out of the business and there's another side when i was in college and i was a cleaning subcontractor i would clean offices after class for a big cleaning company who found office cleaning contracts and found subcontractors to do that work and i saw how much money my boss was making he closed one contract that had three locations and he was paying me about 1775 per month and he was charging about 3000 per month for each one of those contracts so those three contracts were monday to friday and about three thousand dollars per contract and the same company had three different locations and i realized how easy it was he simply met me at the contract, he showed me the place, and I was basically doing all of the cleaning. I was even correcting the contracts, and whenever there was any issues, I was fixing them myself. I have a cleaning equipment, he simply told me, buy it and just add it to the invoice. So my boss was making so much money every single month with barely doing any of the work. He simply showed me the contract, and I was in charge of it. And then I looked back and saw the other cleaning companies I worked for and they were just stressing all over the place. They basically had a job as your business and you need to think like a business owner. And that is understand that a business is not a job. You need to stop thinking like a contractor and think like a business owner. You need to create a business that works for you. And, and the best way to do that is to close a contract and sub it out so you're operating like a broker like a middle person the person that makes the most money are always the person in the middle so if you want to clean for the rest of your life that's fine but i want you guys to wake up and realize that you guys don't have to work for money obviously you guys have to put in the work in the beginning but once you guys get big enough you will have a business working for you and if you guys want to learn more i suggest watching all of my youtube videos so you guys can learn more about the business. And if everything sounds good, if you like what you see and you want to work with a mentor one-on-one -on -one with someone who already made seven figures with your own commercial cleaning business, so you don't have to make all the cost mistakes yourself and spend years trying to figure everything out when you can simply copy paste my seven figure business. And when you actually think about it, if you're only making 50,000 a year right now, you're technically losing 950,000 per year by simply not making a seven figure business. So you need to take this serious and realize that no one's gonna come save you. No one in your family is gonna give you a million dollars. It is your duty to make this work because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will believe in you. But I believe in you. There's thousands of buildings, they all get dirty. All you need is 83,000 a month to make seven figures. You find a contract, sub it out, pay them 60%, keep 40%. It's very simple when you actually start doing it. The hard part is constantly cleaning all week long and barely getting by. Or you can take a step back and just focus on commercial cleaning. But guys, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll talk soon. And, and click below if you want to work one-on-one. -on -one. And I also have a free course and a Facebook group and a business plan. So if you're not ready to work one-on-one, -on -one, I have that option as well. It's free. And by giving value to you and showing you how this business works and help you make money, you're more likely to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.